<laughs> now, I tell you what I'm Willie thinking about us. right now, Willie. Baseball. Baseball. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely unbelievable. These owners, and specifically the owners that are at the table negotiating this, uh, have, are just awful. They, they have basically sold out baseball. They've sold out the fans. The, the players, I don't naturally go with the players. If the players are off, I, then I blame them. But in this case, the players came with a good faith compromise a couple of days ago. The owners told them to pound sand, those four owners that are at the table, and they're horrid. They don't give a damn about the game. They don't give a damn about the sport. And they're basically telling the players, screw you guys. We're, we don't care if there's not baseball in April. We don't care if there's not baseball in May. Screw you guys. Screw the fans. We don't love the game. We're just going to sit here. I mean, it's really, it's such a disgrace. After fans have sat through two years of COVID-shortened seasons, now the greed of these owners at the table is driving baseball into the ground. Well, I would like to say first, I hopped on the internet here in our studio at 30 Rock without incident this morning. You'll be oh, happy to wow. hear that. Really gets just oh, God. Easy That's great. It must on the be laptop. nice. It's great. Uh, but you're right. This is incredibly short-sighted, incredibly greedy. We could get into the arcane details of what they're fighting about, but at the bottom line, it's about money. There's a big pot of money. Baseball's doing pretty well. The players feel like, okay, if you guys are making that much money, we're the players. We'd like a share of that money, a greater share than we have right now. You're right. There was a good faith offer put out by the players. The owners have rejected that. And now opening day of the baseball season is going to be pushed back. It is pushed back already as of yesterday when they couldn't reach a deal, Jonathan Lemire. And we've talked about our kids who... You know, there are a lot of kids who are on the on the fence anyway about baseball, given sure. all the entertainment options. Your kid's up trying to watch a Yankee game, and it's 930 at night, and it's in the fourth inning, and they sort of lose track of it. It's, it's hard enough to keep people with baseball right now. This certainly, certainly is not going to help. This is just going to turn off fans, and it is kids, the future of the sport, who are going to suffer here, who have been so excited opening day. My two boys, certainly among them. I've, I've been talking to people on both sides of this uh, negotiation uh, in recent days. Let's remember a couple of things here. This is a league-mandated deadline yesterday. They set this. The Players Association said, hey, there's no need to have it just yet uh, with opening day still a month away. Now, the, 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 the players felt like in the last CBA they got the short end of the stick. They definitely took a harder pot posture this time. Yep. Uh, Scott Boris driving a lot of this. Max Scherzer, his top client at the table as well. But Joe is right. Uh, the owners here, it's hard to put not put most of the blame at their feet. A lot of the small market owners who in particular, who I have had said, I have been told have said they'd be okay with no baseball in April because they don't make that much money in April anyway because they can't, they have a hard time drawing fans uh, to the ballparks. They're willing to throw away a month of the season uh, potentially. Uh, right now, and this is most damning of all, the season yesterday, Suspended. Opening day canceled. Mm. There's no set date for the next set of negotiations. Right. Right. There's no more talks. Where's the urgency here? Now, I'm told the league is likely going to reach out in a couple of days, maybe as soon as tomorrow, to set up the next round of negotiations. But they're not going to just lose a week here. This is going to stretch into several weeks, potentially most of May. Uh, and it is deeply upsetting. It is a self-inflicted wound. And it's hard not to come back. The defining image of yesterday, Commissioner Rob Manfred photographed practicing his golf swing, which is right here on the back of the Daily News. In the height of negotiations, they thought they had a breakthrough uh, Monday night. Uh, they, were they were closer. The league in particular thought they were close. The Player Association said, hey, you know, this is a good step, but we've still got some uh, divides uh, to bridge. Uh, and then yesterday, tone got tougher. It fell apart. And Rob Manfred was more concerned about his the golf swing than baseball. figuring out the season. The Richard. man is killing baseball, Willie, guys. He's killing baseball. And these owners that are at the table that don't give a damn, who have said, oh, we don't care. We, we don't care about baseball in April. We don't make that much money anyway. They're a disgrace. Manfred's killing baseball. These owners that they have put at the negotiating table that don't give a damn about the fans are killing baseball. We sat around and talked about the NFL every day for a couple of months. Yeah. And why did we do that? You know what? Because our kids were awake. You're exactly yeah. right. I'm sitting there with my 13-year-old boy, and we're watching all of the games. I'm on the phone with my other boys. We're talking about the games. All of their friends are talking about the games. They're looking at sheets, fantasy football league. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Football, the NFL, for all of its problems, everybody's going to be waiting for opening kickoff next year. With baseball, like seriously, you know, people like Barnacle and me, 
you know, it's a health crisis every time the Red Sox <laughs> make it into the playoffs because we got to stay up too late. But guess who else is not staying up late? My 13-year-old son right. who watches 162 regular games a year whenever he can when school's not in. Like, this is a disgrace. These people, let me just say, it, they're greedy pigs who are destroying America's game. And Manfred is a disgrace. He's an He should resign. He's going to go down as the worst commissioner in baseball history because he's sitting there worrying about his backswing while kids are knowing they're not going to get to see opening game because they just decided these small market guys who want to throw away April baseball, who want to throw away opening day, they're glad because they don't make much money in April anyway. They're pigs. They seriously, they don't deserve okay. to be associated with the sport. Tell us what you we really think. I think they're I'm pigs. Thinking, I, I, I think they're greedy, selfish pigs who are destroying America's game. I'm and thinking it's, maybe G7 economic sanctions on the baseball I, oligarchs, I, I, you I, think? I, yeah. yeah and, Willie, Willie, and Willie, how about it. putting some owners at the table who actually give a damn about the sport? Yeah, that might be a good idea. I mean, Richard Haas, is there anybody in that room who remembers 1994 and the damage that was done to that game, that long lockout, how long it took and how hard they had to work to dig out from under that, to get fans back in the ballpark, the lengths they went to. And this, again, is coming at a totally different time for young people. I don't think the owners appreciate this. I don't think Major League Baseball appreciates this. They'd rather be playing Fortnite than sitting up watching a Yankee game until 10 o'clock at night. I actually think this is risky for baseball. Oh, yeah. It's two years of COVID. People are ba have lost habits. This is a chance to basically get off your electronic toys, get out and do things again. Yeah. And I think this is stunningly short-sighted. Uh, about losing a generation, not not reinforcing, if you will, the baseball muscle or habit, it won't be America's game. If people people learn learn to live without it, well, it's not football is <clears throat> football or basketball, what have you. Uh, but this is a real. This is just stunningly short sighted. You could you almost could have made the opposite argument. Forget about the details of the financial things. Now we got to get the game back. We got to reestablish yes. the habit of going to baseball games, and that's what's being lost here. This is stunningly short sighted. You know, you know, Gene yeah. Robinson, when we were growing up, mm -hmm. yeah. what did we do? We'd get our gloves, yeah. we'd go out with friends, exactly. we'd play baseball every day. Exactly. It was yeah. America's game. We would go around pretending we were Hank Aaron or mm -hmm. Willie Mays or, or, or you name it, Willie Starge yeah. or, or, you know, by, by 76, Mark the Bird Fidrich. I remember America stopped that night when Mark the Bird Fidrich went out on the mound on Monday night baseball. Yeah. I mean, baseball was a the game. They're destroying it baseball it was, for our children. It was America's game. Willie is right. It is not America's this game now. I mean, it just isn't. Football is. Basketball probably is second. I mean, and, and, and baseball is um, it, it's hurting itself. Um, Richard Haas is absolutely right. This is more than a missed opportunity. This is self-harm. Um, but there you have it. I mean, it's, it's self-harm. Yeah. And, and, and so it goes down another notch. Okay. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.